This is going to be a real quick tutorial showing you how to integrate one of Prime 31 Studio's Unity plugins. So after you download the plugin, you'll get a Unity package, and we're just going to go ahead and use the Media Player package as an example. So we're going to import that into an empty Unity project here, and you'll see we end up with three folders. So the editor folder is going to contain all of our native code, so you should never have to look at this. And it'll also have our post-process build player, which is a script that handles setting up the Xcode project and setting various things like your info.plist entries, and it will take care of handling uh, frameworks and weak linking and everything else that you don't need to know anything about in the Xcode world. So our test support folder, will always contain a sample project and in this case you can see we have the media player test scene and if we push play on the editor you'll see it's just a bunch of buttons which won't do anything in the editor so this is one great thing about our plugins are if you use it in the editor you're not going to have any errors so you can go ahead and test your game as normal and you won't have to worry about crashes or anything like that when it tries to call into native all right, so now that we have our project all set up here, we are going to go in here and just do a quick build. Give our Xcode folder a name. So what's going to happen is the first time you build your project, and you want to make sure that Xcode is, uh, is your project is not open in Xcode, because um, the post-process build player is going to take care of uh, of a bunch of configuration in Xcode and you'll end up seeing this pop up just once the first time you build you'll see that Unity support successfully integrated so let's take a look at what happened in here in our project alright so you can see in the classes folder we have all of our media player native code classes were included and in our frameworks folder it took care of importing the media player framework for us alright so let's go ahead and do a quick build and you can see just like that media player is built and ready for use in your Xcode project